Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to All Around the Farm today. So, I've got some exciting news. If you follow along with me, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say deals were made. There's going to be some new stuff coming around here. I need to prepare for that. So friends, when I say I need to, you know, quote unquote, prepare for that, quite simply what I mean is uh, I got to get that stuff, I got to be able to work on that stuff where it's setting with nothing and, you know, drive it here. That's the, that's the goal. So have you ever thought to yourself, man, it would be really nice to have a, you know, a truck just set aside mobile repair unit got electricity air tools anything that someone might need you know in a repair situation that's mobile that you can take with you well we're going to do that today guys not with that though i haven't really done anything with that yet other than well put the back window in see i can see where i'm going backwards now and because it has no mirrors that's really the only option I have. But never mind that now. That's another another day and another project away. I need to do is make myself what I'm going to call my mobile repair module. Or, well, I would call it mom, but repair doesn't start with an O. I call it merm. So what I'm going to do with merm here, you know, bear with me. You, do, you guys know I've got a forklift, so I thought this pallet was perfect start for that. I can pick it up, set it on my Colorado, this, the red truck, whatever. Any truck I have can now be a mobile repair unit because of this merm. Here's what I'm going to do. It does help, guys, that over the years I've collected a lot of garbage. So I've got a lot of stuff that I can work, you know, work with merm here, and it's going to be great. So guys, the first thing that I need electricity bang got some right here now since I've got two generators and I use this one for nothing I thought well I'm gonna be able to put this thing to work for me this will be great let's see got the power out the back doesn't matter doesn't matter where the power is my goal is to get it on this pallet and I'm kind of hoping the wheels will just kind of fall through so I can attach it to the pallet they don't fall through. It'll only take me a second to pull them off of there. But this, uh, the destiny of this generator is going to be to remain on this pallet forever. And you know what? I got to move this back. That might be better. Let's see how this is going to work. Not bad, except for that one. Actually, hmm, do I like that? Not especially. That back axle is... Hey, friends, I acquired this generator the way that it is, so... And the wheels are kind of handy in case I do have to or want to roll it somewhere to just, you know, be able to do that. You know what, guys? Let's just pull the axles right out of this thing. It ain't like I'm going to be moving it around without the forklift anyway. There. That was really in there. So let's move that wheel. Bingo. Oops. Now, guys, don't worry. I'm not going to, you know, should something go awry or different or should plans change, because that happens. We all know how that goes. I'll be able to just pin this axle right back in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's that one. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, of course. Okay, well, there goes that. That's fine. At least it's off of there. Okay, there. Of 
We'll just go ahead and jam that right back in there. One, two, three. There. Just like that. Generator probably isn't going anywhere, but just in case. There's that one. Okay. A little different attack here, but it'll all work out. That's wonderful. That's going nowhere. Perfect. So, there. Attached. That's going to work just dandy. Friends, the next thing we need is a little compressed air. So here we have the perfect thing, this little air compressor. Now, guys, I haven't used this thing in several years. I used to have it as a backup or used to keep it in just one shed there. And, uh, well, you know, like I said, just never used it. So let's do... couple things just to see how she's operating here <laughs> terrific there ain't even any dust coming out of it that's how you know it's good stick that back on there seems like there must be a reason I quit using this compressor but maybe uh, maybe there isn't Let's see here. All right. I like that. Perfect. <laughs> Not even hot. I love it. That works. So, now that I know that works, time to uh, get the tires and whatnot off of this. Let's see if it'll, looks like it's meant to stand up this way if you wanted it to. No, it's not, but it doesn't matter. So, if I go ahead and pull the back wheels and maybe leave these little rubber guys on here even. Or it doesn't matter. Maybe just take them all off. It's already got a hole in it here, a hole in it here. Drill some holes in the pallet and bolt her right on down. Feels like that's, uh, I think we're onto something. And again, guys, saving everything. I don't, maybe I won't make this a permanent thing. Who knows? But if I don't, I can put it all right back together. So my thought, friends, was that if I kind of set this on here in a manner like this, let's see, okay, yep, drain fits right through, so that'll work. Plenty of room to bolt it down. It's not overhanging the pallet. I still got room to... Perfect. That will all work. Do I have room for... Yeah, I can basically do everything I need to do exactly where that's setting. And this guy can come right around here, plug in where there's, where there's no hot stuff. I like that. Now, I just gotta mark that pallet and drill it out and bolt her on down. Let's, uh, let's get you out of the way for a second here. Drill some holes and see what we, see what we can do. Sure. That's going to be off a little bit. Well, so am I. I figure if I use the drill bit that's 3 8 and I put quarter inch bolts in there, I can't lose.
I mean, I probably can't lose. Okay, that's fine, but not long enough. Let's try that again. And four. How about that? They all fit through, guys. That's that, that makes me happy on so many levels. Well, let's bolt that down so it doesn't decide to jump off of there. Okay. My golly. Well, there, friends, by golly, that's coming around pretty good. Now, a couple things. This is going to do me no good unless I got some way to move air from point A to point B. So, friends, I stopped up to my local auto parts earlier today, and I picked up this hose. Now, uh, she sure is bright. I'm not going to lose this one by any means. The thing I didn't pick up was a hose reel, and that sure would be handy to bolt down to the end of here which man i could really use that but hey you know nobody's perfect let me get this in here let's stretch this out Terrific. <laughs> Friends, none of that's going to do me any good until I can get this air to my tools. So I just happen to have this spare coupler, which fits all my air tools. Doesn't fit this wrench. Let me, uh, let's make adjustments here. So get that. There we go. Now it's wise for me to do this just because now... I mean, air compressors are for more than just puffing up tires. If I need to, say, have my die grinder out there, or, I don't know, maybe I need to do some mobile sanding, or whatever, whatever the case may be, this now fits everything. Let's see if it works. Okay, so. Pressure. Love it. Off one blowgun. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. That is excellent. All right. Now, I guess we're, we're batting a thousand right now, guys, but there's still something missing. This stuff's great, but without any tools, what good is most of this stuff? Let's get some tools. Hi friends, so I do just happen to have this old spare toolbox. He kept it in the other barn, but I don't really do anything out there. I do everything in here, so the extra tools weren't necessarily doing me a lot of good. But they've got just about everything I could need. I got screwdrivers, pliers, big bolt if I need a big bolt for something. I've got standard sockets. Metric sockets and wrenches. I mean, for the most part, I got everything but hammers, but that's easily fixed. We got a couple hammers here. We'll just throw them in because I might need those in my travels here in the very near future. So now I would really like to attach this toolbox to this pallet just the same. The other thing, too, I want to keep it, the exhaust is kind of blowing right through here. So, I don't necessarily want to be warming up my toolbox if I don't, you know, if I don't have to. Let me see if I can find some little L hooks. I think that's going to be just a ticket for what's going to happen here. There. I think I got just a thing here. Let's see. Come on, you... 
Let's see if this poor sawzall blade's got enough power left in it. Terrific. That was even better than I anticipated. Now I just got to poke a hole in it. That's junk. Let's try this one. It looks a little shinier. Good enough. I think on this one, I'm going to poke a couple holes in it because it's got to be sturdy on one side at least. in the world. One of these drill bits has got to not be garbage. Oh, there it is. That's the one. Okay. Terrific. Okay. Over to the command unit. Okay, that'll be fine. And that will be fine. I think that's going to work out just dandy. Come on. Now, friends, don't panic. I think I'm drilling in below the drawer. think. Yep, good. There's that. Get one on the other side. Terrific. Now, I'm not going to run these through the bottom here because, well, actually it won't really matter. If I move it over just enough, that'll actually work out really good because I can go straight into here and there's no chance I'm going to hit it with the forks anywhere. That's what I'm going to do. Bingo. That's not going anywhere. Okay. Yep, that's a permanent situation. That's not moving. So let's see, friends. I don't think I really need much else. Maybe a small box somewhere over there or whatever, just, you know, for the extras. But I think for the most part, I throw this thing on a truck and I'm ready to just about do anything. Well, guys, the hose reel is going to be one of these things that's going to become a must here. But... For right now, that'll do just fine. 
Oh, there is one more thing. Just in case I need a little bit more power, there's that. What else could a fella need on his mobile repair module? I got power, I got air, I got tools, I got air, and more power. Guys, I think that's just about going to be perfect right there. So, last thing I got to do here, get my forklift out, pick it up, put it in my truck, and then go get some stuff tomorrow. But you know what? First, guys, let's make sure all this works, because if it doesn't work, it's really... It's really worth it. It's not going to work. Let's just turn that that way. Let's try this. Let me give myself a little. Let's see. Turn the gas on in my old generator here. Where's the... Oh, here we go. Joke. I said, guys, I really don't use this stuff very often, so, you know, I forget. We got power on. Let me check that. Engine run. All right, Big Jenny, let's see what we got here. Excellent. Now for the real test. Little did I know, the air compressor was running when I started that. Who knew? turned off that way when I'm in route tomorrow as you know sometimes if you're going over bumps or something maybe the carburetor will let all my gas out and I'll get there and I won't be able to do anything and that'll be terrible so I guess guys tomorrow when I'm working on these dump truck and the big versatile I can now pump the tires up I can cut stuff if I have to I got electricity I got most of the tools I should need right there, minus a couple hammers and maybe a few other things, but Brian and I will go over that tomorrow morning before we leave here. I'm gonna get my Colorado out and back up here. That's the best part of this equation, guys, if it'll fit in my truck. Hopefully it does. Look who I found wandering around. She wants to go in, she ain't happy. It's too windy for your majestic fur, isn't it? Yeah, okay, here you go. All right, get in the house. Maybe I'll get a jacket on too.
it all fits. Well there friends, so essentially what I've done here is I've made it possible to make even the smallest of work truck into an actual work truck. I still got room to put some tractor batteries here, uh, a big starter, because I need that. The big, the 895 has no starter in it, which I have that. And when I'm all done, well, I could just grab my fork truck, zip this right out of here, and uh, set her in the corner until I need to go mobile on the next project. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll set it on this thing, or I'll set it in the black truck, or maybe I'll just leave it on the forklift and take the whole forklift wherever I'm going. Don't know the answer to some of these questions, guys, but I tell you what, that is gonna make life real easy. Everything's already there. I don't have to go hunting for stuff. It's just all gonna work out. And even if someone needs to borrow it, I can just pick the whole thing up, set it in their truck so they can take off with it. Hopefully they bring it back. I mean, that's, you think about it with all the tools, the air compressor, the generator, the pe that's kind of expensive, but you know what? It's all gonna work out and I love it. Like I said, guys, best idea I've had today. Well, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Now stay tuned because, well, you know, like I said, deals have happened, so. There's going to be a couple of really exciting will it start and drive home projects coming up in our very near future here, friends. So, hey, thanks for playing along today, friends. We'll see you next time. Not to worry. I can fix that too. <laughs>